we often take for granted the fundamental motions of running and walking. For athletes, these actions are mindless. They're the building blocks for advanced movements that shape their prime athletic years. But all it takes is one wrong step. Yeah, it's before he comes down. It's the plant right there on that left leg. There was some give, there was some give on that knee. You can see it. Ooh. Looks like it went in. Devastating ACL injuries are a prevalent epidemic that both amateur and professional athletes experience. How does an ACL tear? Can you demonstrate with the knee? Yeah, absolutely. So the most common uh, way an ACL tears is when an athlete will plant uh, their foot into the ground and there is a twisting uh, and a valgus force to the knee, sometimes including with impact. We call them either contact or non-contact injuries. So a contact injury is if the person's foot uh, is on the ground and they begin their motion of cutting and planting and turning and then a blow comes into the knee, uh, whether it's uh, directly uh, to the front um, or to the side and forces the knee into a twisting motion. Uh, the ACL is in the center of the knee that runs from uh, the back side of the femur and it runs diagonally to the anterior or front part of the tibia and what happens is, is as that twists it sh creates a shear force where the ACL then tears. A non-contact injury is where the athlete will plant uh, their foot, their foot kind of stays stuck in the turf or in the grass and it rotates out while then their body rotates in. Creating the same uh, shearing force on the inside and tearing the ACL. Okay, and then for the ACL treatment, what's the what's the general course of treatment for it, like the program that you put for that? So for an ACL uh, injury um, and that results in a tear, uh, then the, the standard of practice is ACL reconstruction surgery. Um, and the uh, course of treatment um, starts with post-operative care right after surgery, one to three days. Um, and then it will progress all the way up to return to the sport functional activities and return to sport activities and that usually takes us up through the 9 and 12 month mark. So the patient is not in the clinic uh, that long. Uh, they're usually here for an intensive three to four months, uh, two to three times a week, uh, working on strength, range of motion, decreasing swelling. Um, and then they come intermittently. They usually will work out on strength um, on their own. Um, and then when the surgeon determines that they're ready for certain phases of returning to jogging, returning to running, cutting, impact, and then returning to full sport activity are different, different stages along the way. The ACL is a delicate connecting tissue which must be rehabilitated in phases to protect its maximum strength. This regimen is rigorous and is experienced by athletes who have mastered the necessary toughness to cope. Explain your ACL injury history. Uh, well, I tore my ACL during the regional semifinal lacrosse game against Plymouth. Uh, I was running down the field, made a quick cut, and I just felt this pain. Fell to the ground, got carted off the field, and the next day went to the doctor and when I tore my ACL. Um, I tore my ACL last year in September, and I was out of soccer for 10 months, and then I started playing again in June, and then I tore it again at the end of October. So about four months after my first injury, I tore it a second time. What did your PT look like um, when you first started? I uh, started with just lots of stretches, getting a lot of basic movement down, learning how to walk and run again, and, and then it moved on to more strength. I bend my knee 90 degrees like a few times and then I do hamstring stretches, I do leg lifts up and down and side to side and then I ice it for 15 minutes. And what was your pain level on a scale of 1 to 10 right after surgery and what is it now? Right after surgery it was a 10. Right after surgery it was probably a 9, pretty 
bad for like three or four days. Right now, it's probably like a two. I do have times when I'm sore and it hurts more. What would you say your pain level on a scale of 1 to 10 is right now? Probably only like two. ACLs are strengthened by a stabilizing group of muscles, including hamstrings, quadriceps, and patellar muscles. Since the ACL is vulnerable, building this muscle group is crucial for preventing serious injury. If you see someone, have you ever seen like a, maybe a girl on your team jump and her knees go in, mm -hmm. right? She has a high risk for an ACL injury. If you see someone squat and they can't, right, allow their knees to go over their toes, okay, that means their ankles too tight and there's gonna be more pressure put. One of the worst things you could do to play sports is you could wear ankle braces because you lock your ankle down and you don't allow this to happen so more pressure goes to the ankle.